So what up, ball? First, uh, this is my new uh, partner in crime. Uh, me and me, him, and John is on this free Suge Knight campaign, <laughs> or, or get the truth out on Suge Knight campaign. So my homeboy D Dog, D, said, go ahead and tell us what you got to get off your chest today, brother. Yes. That's me and John both, yep. Yeah, you and John, you know, I tried some other platform, a lot of other cats were scared and intimidated by bone, you know, so I appreciate y'all. Respect, man. But I want to first start off by saying that, uh, you know, this whole thing was a conspiracy against Shug Knight. And the top players is, is some big dogs, and, uh, you know, I'm not afraid to name them. You know, and the big one is Universal Pictures. They, they, Universal Pictures and the district attorney office collided together to conceal a conspiracy and, and cover up the truth and, and put should not in jail. And, uh, you know, I've been, uh, part of this thing to put the truth out. Um, the key players is Dr. Dre, F. Gary Gray, and, and, and Cleveland Strong. You know, all these dudes have uh, uh, are tied in together when it comes to the plot against Shook Knight. Um, so basically what I've been doing is just exposing the truth um, and not caring about uh, who cares about what I say. Uh, and to all the other platforms, to all the cats that, you know, that's, um, you know, that got something to say or is that, you know, they got some doubt. This check from Dr. Dre is going to prove everything that I've been saying. Um, it's a murder for hire check, and uh, we're going to air it out today. And so um, that's what I'm here for, to, you know, to bring forth the truth. Um, like I say, um, you know, should was set up multiple ways. You know, they tried to, you know, they tried to, their, their mission was to get him off the street before a straight out copy came out, one way or another. Um, and like I said, I'm here to expose it. Respect. So we're going we're gonna to let Shook Knight, in his own words, explain what he meant by that and uh, the check that you're speaking of. And we're going to post yeah. the check up. And we're just going to let Shook say what he, what happened. And, and we're going to leave it there. And so, yeah, so here's the check, y'all. And, um, uh, yeah. I say, based on, listen, based on the, on the witness and the evidence, they talked to him. He told the two guys, how much would it cost to get rid of me? They said, what you mean by get rid of him? He said, kill him. That's when they start coming up with prices. Then the other guy, the, the director says, uh, he, he bagging his play. And they got photos of the conversation to prove it. And then they said there was personal checks. They said, when you get paid, for working on a, uh, a production company, the production company give you a check. Guys who's getting one hundred fifty dollars a day from the production company, he gave guys twenty grand and even more in cash to kill me. It was a murder for hire case, and he gave him a personal check, not a not his business check, not the production company check, or not universal check, a personal check. So y'all heard what Suge Knight had to say about it, and uh, hey, like I said, me, D Dog, and John, we just here to put out the truth. Uh, and that's all. Yep. Yeah, okay. The conspiracy, theory, the, the conspiracy of this shit is bigger than what people think. She's bigger than you Nino know, Brown, huh? Bigger than Nino. People, people scared of Universal Pictures and, 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 and Dr. Dre and all these dudes, but like, listen, they not untouchable. You know? Um, I tell you the truth, I think uh, uh, the head DA gets called I think you need to reopen Shook's case. Tell you the truth. You know what I mean? Because with some foul, unjust done, with some corrupt cops and corrupt DAs. That's my opinion. Respect. We'll leave it there, Dito. We don't want to harbor on it too long. We just want to put it out so people can really focus on the uh, the check and the plot and Shook Knight words and what Shook Knight believe. Yes. That part right there. Yep. Shug, unfortunately, didn't have nobody out there.
to put this out for him like, like it needed to be put out. That wasn't scared to put it out. That's what she'll been knowing, y'all. She'll been, been preaching that. That's old. But there's the check. Nobody has ever seen the actual check. The big homie now uh, gave the check and released the check. Yeah. Why y'all think what Marv and, and D-Dog did got the jury listened to that and heard it. And that helped. That's why David Kenner was successful in that judgment against Terry Carter. She couldn't take the chance of going to court because, number one, he thought he was only getting 22 years. If y'all wonder what's going on and what's the appeal and what he got the appeal and all of that because he took a deal, well, that's the real, y'all. I've been trying not to speak on it too much. The judge, or he said his counsel, gave him bad advice, gave him bad information. He didn't think he was going to get that much. They, they double time something that, that added another eight years or 10 years on. But, so that's his reason for his fight for his appeal. But he couldn't take the chance because he had two other cases also pending that were pretty much slam dunks where the, the director dude, uh, F. Gary Day Gray or whatever his name is, was, uh, was saying that he was terrorizing, threatening him and she had to send some emails and some threats to him. And then also uh, the photographer that Cat Williams ended up taking the deal on. Uh, that also uh, uh, hurt. And she got two strikes. And all he needed was one conviction out of any of those three cases. And he would have had 25 to life. If y'all know anything about prison, 28 is better than 25 to life. Because when you get an L, it starts at 25, right? But it can go all the way up to the end of your life. Then you got to go before a parole board. That's why I'm laughing at, uh, at, at Alonzo when he's talking about that incident with, uh, with Eric Holder. Eric or whatever his name is. It's just like when you got an L at the end, I don't know if he just got 60 years or 60 years to life. But it could, it could be anything, any number, because now you got to go before the board. But if you got a date without the L, you got a date. You got a date. Suge Knight's date right now is 2034. He ain't got to go through no board. He ain't got to do nothing. Just sit in there and don't get in no trouble until 2034 and he can walk out. But there's other things that may get him out if time get knocked off because of ineffective counsel or all of that. If it ever get past the judge, the DA gonna make a deal with them. 